Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I am proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. So, we've come a long way on this journey, right? So, to get to this point where this has happened, this is like the first, the, uh, there's been big moments and stuff, right? But this one is like, okay, well, getting this first step here to actually happen. Somebody has asked Smokey Robinson if he and Diana Ross are Michael Jackson's real parents. Okay, so he's been asked this now. And uh, so now it's just a matter of time before somebody has to ask Diana, then somebody's got to ask her once, hopefully then you'll get somebody that has knowledge of my story, then they can come back and they'll ask Diana like, okay, but they're saying you're Billie Jean, you know? So they, like, they can come back and ask her different questions and have to get her to answer different things. And then they can ask them too, things like, yeah, they're saying that that's why um, Joe built the band with Michael because Michael was given to him from you guys, you know? And, all, and then that's why Michael ends up back at Motown at such a young age because Joe was trying to get him back to Motown and stuff, right? Joe knew what to do once Michael showed the talent. Joe knew where to take him, <laughs> knew how, you know, all, everything. And then everything helped. So once they can start asking him real questions and stuff, right, then things are going to break. But so right now we've got the first stage. Somebody has asked Smokey Robinson if he was Michael Jackson's father. So now, right off the bat, if he's not Michael Jackson's father, if, if Michael's a Jackson, Instantly, the words out of his mouth, it's the same kind of thing I relate to when, when Oprah asked Michael Jackson if he's a virgin. You'll see that the response of Smokey appears to be very similar to that response that Michael gave when Oprah asked him, are you a virgin? He's like, he, he, I don't know, it starts, it starts acting like that, right? So, we're in, But he doesn't say no. Right? And so that's the thing. Now, any response he has after this, they've had time to think about it, time to examine it. Even if he called Diana Ross on the phone call and they have that recording, he would be able to call and say, Diana, there's a crazy new story. See, just by setting it up that way, he would be able to, that's like a warning to Diana that this is a crazy story. Beware of what you're about to say. See, that's all he would have to say. So that's not the same as the first response we got from him. The first response from we got from him, he was flustered acting like Michael Jackson the Virgin when Oprah asked him if he was a virgin and stuff, right? He's flustered, and he doesn't say no. And he kind of says that's interesting. He's kind of interested in it, right? So here, let's go through here. Let me show you uh, a couple parts in here that are interesting. So this is uh, uh, in The Guardian. It's in some magazine, I guess it is, called The Guardian. They did an article. Where is it? it? Skip right over. I guess it was this one here. Okay, so first, uh, first of all, he's uh, on the on the right side over here. Smokey's acknowledging the affair he had with Diana Ross, right? And he says here, um, he says, "Did he and Ross have a thing?" He pauses. Yes, we did. How long for? About a year. I was married at the time. We were working together, and it just happened. But it was beautiful. She's a beautiful lady, and I love her right till today. She's one of my most closest people. She was young and trying to get her career together. I was trying to help her. I brought her into Motown. In fact, I wasn't going after her, and she wasn't going after me. It just happened. Okay, so that's Smokey talking about his relationship because that's been the new thing that the, the new information that Smokey now has admitted to an actual affair. And now he's expanding on that to saying, yeah, it was over a year, you know, we were having an affair. So see, there's more information is coming out. And that's what happens now that now that he's been asked if he's the father, it's going it's gonna to keep happening. There's going to be more. And, and it's just inevitable. If my story is true, it's coming out. Right. And if it's if if they. If it's not true, then they should be able to uh, explain it in a way that it could satisfy me and stuff, which I don't think they're going to be able to do that because my story is true. Okay, so so then like right after that, a couple of paragraphs after that, the person asks him, he says, I ask if he heard the rumor about him and Ross. There is a story, I say, that you two are the real parents of Michael Jackson. <laughs> You gotta understand how, for me to read that and to hear that somebody's asking him, it's really, really weird. And, um, oh shoot, uh, uh, it's a Kiss Clone, I believe, just to mention, I believe it was Kiss Clone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride with that, Kiss Clone is the one who 
told me about this article. That's the one who told me about this article that this had happened. Just because, oh yeah, so it was Kiss Clone. I had to get his name in there. Okay, uh, so, um, yeah, so me, me seeing that this has happened now, we're, it's like, this is the kind of thing where the two in the Michael Jackson community, it's like, look at, my story was serious enough that the Michael Jackson community couldn't shut it down, right? And it was serious enough now that real people that are reporters have looked at some of the evidence and they've looked at it and they've seen that, you know what, there is some evidence here to the point of now where they've asked Smokey straight out. And this is the kind of thing where like with the community, it's like, come on, when's the Michael Jackson community going to wake up and start dealing with this? Because we're way beyond, you know, just some guy starting a rumor. This has made it to this level now, right? So... He says, I ask if you heard the rumor about him and Ross. There is a story, I say, that you two are the real parents of Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay. Oh, this, this is really funny. Okay, he says, they say I'm the baby daddy? <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, man. It is really, really funny. He says... His voice raises an octave. We're talking about Smokey Robinson's. <laughs> He's already got a high voice, right? See what I'm saying? He starts to get flustered. He starts to act like it looks like it resembles Michael. Well, they asked him if he was a virgin. This is what it felt like, Smokey, when Oprah asked him. This is what it felt like. He's like flustered and shit, right? He says, he says, he raises his voice an octave. He, 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 ho, 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 ho. <laughs> shit. He says... They say Diana Ross, and I had Michael. <laughs> See, he's not saying no. He's not saying no. And the, the guy says, yeah. <laughs> that's what he says. Oh, my God. I never heard that one. Man, that's pretty good. That's funny. That's funny. Wow. So he says, I wonder if she's heard it. I'm going to call her right now. See, he's looking for backup, right? He's looking for backup. He is one of those things. It's like, this is like that fight or flight, right? He can't fight. When they first asked him, he couldn't, it was stunned. It was the same thing with like when Oprah asked Michael if he's a virgin. He didn't know how to answer that question. Right? And Smokey's never been asked this question, right? This has never happened, right? So finally, after all of these years, all this time, right? Somebody's asking him this question. And, and with him actually being the father, didn't he respond in the way in which you would think that that's how he would respond? Flustered, not saying no, you know? So he says, uh, I wonder if she's heard it. He says, I'm going to call her and ask her. He is still laughing. That's funny. So that, and that, that's, that's the end of that, right? So then they don't say any more about the phone call or whatever. But so we'll have to wait and see like what more happens. But okay, he didn't deny it. The first time Smokey, and, and he acted really flustered and goofy. Like I said, it, it, it's just like how Michael was asked when he was a virgin. He did oh, whoa, whoa, shoot. <laughs> what? What, a virgin? I can't answer that question. Same thing, like, wait, they're saying, what? Oh, that's good. That's funny. That's funny. He likes my story. So right there. Smokey liked the story, right? Smokey, he, he got a good laugh at it. That's one of these things about, too, it's like, boy, I sure provide a lot of good uh, laughs for people, a lot of good comedy and stuff. I provide a lot of people a lot of good laughs and stuff, right? And right there, didn't I ch just provide Smokey Robinson with a really good original laugh, something that was totally unique, never experienced in his life? He got a really good laugh out of it. So, like me, I, I could take, like, pride in little things, right? I made Smokey Robinson laugh. I created a story and did research and pushed it to the point that they asked him, and he got a good laugh out of it, at, at least, you know? But at most, we're going to see what happens now. Right. But so now he's been asked and now we're going to have to see what's the next step and we'll work on this, how it goes and stuff. But pretty much now this is like, it's like, I don't really need to do much research and stuff. Everything now focused on this. Just let it play out. Let it, let the public absorb this. I need to let this just like absorb into the public over the next couple months and whatever. Just kind of see how it plays out and stuff. We'll see how it goes and stuff. Right. So, okay. This is a, this is a really good thing. Real exciting. And uh, I like his response. I think it's, he's responded exactly in the which way I would have expected him to act. 
And he definitely didn't come out and say no. And then he starts looking for backup. Oh, I'm going to call Diana. You see, that's that fight or flight thing. He didn't fight. He couldn't fight. He didn't know how to fight. So it's the flight. He runs and looks for backup. He calls, runs, and says, I'm going to call Diana and get some backup here. Oh, I don't know. It's just funny, you know? Okay, so that's, a, that's something. It's happened and stuff. This is a big deal. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.